we're starting random concrete shark week. <laughs> no, that's what we're doing. Okay, I love it. Just that's random great. subjects. And it was Patchouli's idea. I don't know why she keeps using shark week. It's, <laughs> it's Patchouli. Kids these days. Anyway, so, so today we are answering a question that's been asked a number of times in different ways. Concrete and cement, is there another choice? Ba -ba -ba -bum. No, there's been a lot of articles over the last, I would say, year, year and a half. Sure. Damning concrete and cement. And, you know, depending on whose research, cement accounts for three and a half to seven percent of the world's CO2 emissions, and it's only going to get worse. And concrete, the way we use it, and with some of the gauges that have lithium in there, we're, we're not only damning ourselves, we're damning our children too, and the environment, and Mother Nature, and Gaia, and the woes. What's the other choice? Like, what? Were you going to build a structure, a multi story structure? Totally out of steel or timber? Are you gonna cut down like how many forests? Well, that's a, so I, I get that people, you know, kind of blame a, a certain amount of CO two emissions on concrete and cement, which I get it. Mm. But everything it has a carbon footprint. Cutting down trees for wood has a carbon footprint. Making steel. Making steel. Everything does. So it's like and mining those natural clays and those natural cementitious materials. Right. They have a carbon. Right. Oh, footprint absolutely. or a carbon cost to them as well. Everything does. And if it's not carbon, then what? You're going to cut down or you're going to grow specific trees for, or you got to cut down trees that exist. You're still destroying a forest. So, right. you know, there's looking, a price with everything. There's a price with everything. And right now, it turns out that concrete is a great alternative to all these other ideas of construction materials, timber building, you can only go so many stories up and you still gotta rip down trees. Right. And with concrete at the very least, we don't have to keep using natural or virgin aggregate. We can use RCA at this right. point. There are methods and means out there. Some brilliant people out there in the industry who are doing great work at universities right. and in the field. And you know, there are some great innovations for binder replacements and alternative right. cements. But to create a more efficient but we haven't gone to the point where manufacturers have gotten products out there that can meet the demand of construction. Well, I think the Not other like cement, right? But I think the other problem is too. It's like to kind of piggyback with that. We're still trying to, you know, create the concrete that we used to when we're putting it in more aggressive environments. And so this, I think, is a bit of a segue into new and emerging technologies because we can make concrete last even longer and reduce that carbon footprint in that aspect. So yeah, that's another direction that we can go to make that concrete last longer, be stronger, more sustainable, right. durable, all that jazz. But I, I really want to know, what is the other option? I mean, there was a great article written by Jonathan Rowland on this very subject. That's what spurred this, this, this coffee talk, even though I don't have any coffee. I, I think the reality check is, is that there isn't another viable solution out there that can provide the same fresh and hard properties sure. that Portland cement based concrete does and I mean that the, 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 the supporting information you know we can talk to our blue in the face but what are we using every single day to meet the demand of construction? I concrete mean, or asphalt depending on what the application is. Okay for multi-story construction the majority is right. concrete for bridges I mean for right. pavements yes but right now the best option is concrete, and that's why we use it every single day. Cement, Portland cement based concrete. And I definitely will say that if we try and use the other options, the reality check is we might be creating a larger carbon footprint sure. or doing more damage to the environment than we would using right. Portland cement based concrete. So, really, the better question is how can we make the cement more efficient and decrease and the, the carbon footprint yeah. going that route? But and that's the a place. topic for another discussion. Right. Okay, awesome. Hope you learned something. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Ding that bell. Go concrete. Beat asphalt. Random shark wing. That's life. That's life. That's what all the people say. You're riding high in April. Shot down in May. But I know I. That's you. When I'm back on top, back on top.